Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday morning. It's Stephen Whiteside here from theuptrend.com. In the pre-market this morning, things are fairly quiet. Stock index futures and commodities are trading below fair value. Dow futures currently down 130 points. We do have some economic numbers coming out at 8.30 this morning that could change the direction of the market. And then we also have energy inventories coming out later in the morning. Moving on, looking at the uh, VIX, the VIX is still on a sell signal. That's supportive for higher stock prices. In the pre-market, and we've seen a lot of gaps higher and lower during earnings season, and here's one stock gapping sharply higher this morning, and that is Beyond Meat. It's up uh, over 60% last time I checked, and that would be trading right off the top right-hand corner of the screen. So quite an impressive move for Beyond Meat in the pre-market. Now we've got Bitcoin and Ethereum making new highs this morning and uh, that is going to help all the uh, crypto related stocks on Wednesday and we've got Bitfarms making a new high yesterday. Uh, we've got uh, Coinbase making a new high. We've got a new high for uh, Marathon. We've got a new high for MicroStrategy and I would assume those stocks are going to continue to move higher on Wednesday. Now I've been watching Apple closely. It's still trying to hold support here once again. It uh, traded through the 18125 level yesterday, but recovered going into the close. And uh, a lot of people are uh, paying attention right now because we are sitting on the 200-day moving average. So uh, watching Apple closely, seeing if it can hold here or if it's going to start to break down and open up to some new uh, price targets to the downside. Uh, then looking at uh, Meta, Meta is still closing above the upper channel line. No change there. Looking at Microsoft, we may have put in a lower high here. Looking for a close on Wednesday below $404.97. And NVIDIA is still on a buy signal here last week. Uh, we uh, actually generated a sell signal. We wait for the close uh, to confirm a sell signal. And then we're going to take that sell signal and do something with it the next morning. You come in the next morning and you find out that uh, NVIDIA is gapping higher in the pre-market. So you can either take that sell signal and uh, just uh, go with it and, and lock in profits there or just ignore the sell signal and just hold on. And we're still got a partial position in NVIDIA coming into Wednesday's trading action. Uh, then looking at Tesla, we're still on a buy signal here, still dealing with the open gap at $206.77. You can see we're still dealing with our mathematical resistance at 203.13. Uh, if we can take out that open gap, then uh, 218.75 comes into play. Uh, then uh, what worked yesterday? Well, it was biotechs were the big winners uh, two days in a row, uh, followed by U.S. retail. And uh, speaking of retail, Macy's announced it was closing 150 stores yesterday. And uh, that seemed to help the stock, not hurt it. And it certainly helped the retail sector. Uh, then we've got uh, money still going into the mid caps and the Russell 2000 and the micro caps. And uh, that's a good sign for the market going forward. But, you know, we are incredibly overbought here. And uh, this is a seasonally weak period for the stock market. So it'll be interesting to see how this works itself out. Of course, uh, we're going to take the signals as they come up. Let's uh, finish off looking at the world of commodities. Copper is still on a buy signal. Copper miners is still on a buy signal. The price of gold and the GLD are still on buy signals. Unfortunately, nobody wants uh, gold mining stocks at the moment. And even the juniors are still on a sell signal. So no change there. Uh, then looking at silver, we're back on a sell signal for silver and for the SLV. And then looking at the silver miners, no joy there, uh, down at the bottom of the range. Next up, looking at the energy sector, we've got uh, both crude oil and natural gas moving up on the same day. And is that positive for energy stocks? No, energy stocks actually pulled back on the day. Uh, so no change in trend for energy stocks based on Tuesday's trading action. Okay, folks, that is all for this morning's presentation. So far, it looks like we're going to see a little selling at the open on Wednesday morning. Have a great day, folks. Next time you'll hear my voice is on Thursday morning.